This warning on your W204 Mercedes could possibly mean that the coolant level is low. To check the levels, make sure your car is on a flat surface. This is to make sure you have accurate readings. The next thing you want to do is pop the hood. The hood release lever is a little red latch on the left side of the vehicle near the parking brake. It will be on the right side for European models. You can find the coolant reservoir on the left side of the engine bay. It's a little black container. To check the coolant level, you're going to need to take off the cap. I'm using a towel to take off the cap because I just drove my car and the coolant may be hot and it could boil out and kind of splash my hand and burn me. So if you just drove your car and you're changing your, uh, refilling your coolant, make sure you use a towel too. So you can tell that your coolant is low if the coolant level is not meeting that black indicator in there. You can kind of see where it's a little white strip and there's a black strip on top of that. The coolant should be level with that black strip. So I'm using a 50-50 coolant and antifreeze mixture by Peak. I picked this up at AutoZone for about 20 bucks. And as you saw on the bottle, that was for European vehicles. And that includes the Mercedes-Benz W204. And before you pour your coolant into the reservoir, make sure that you shake it up a bit. This just ensures that everything is stirred up properly before you put it in there. And I turn the bottle sideways with the label facing me so that it can pour out easier and it's more accurate this way too. And like I said before, just pour the mixture until it's flush with that black line. And this is the 50-50 cooling mixture, so you have to worry about mixing water in the into it's already pre-mixed and ready to go out the bottle. And you can kind of see here that the levels have been reached. It's flush with the black indicator. And once you are got that filled up, just put the cap on, close the hood, and start your car up, and you should be good to go. And as you see here, topping off the coolant level fixed our little uh, warning light issue. Now we're good to go. Thanks for watching.